Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be comparing these Artist Loft metallic paints. It's basically their really cheap and their really expensive brands. So I've been using the cheap stuff for a while now. I bought a 12 pack for like $13 and they're okay. I mean, I've used them almost completely up. I was pretty excited to see that they had a professional kind of grade on clearance. I bought these for 25 plus tax. I think the original price on them was 45 or 50. My main complaint with the cheap stuff has been coverage. It seems like I have to do coat after coat. Doesn't matter what undercoating I did or what surfaces I'm painting. Seems like the minimum amount of coats is three with the maximum being about 15 and we'll see a little bit of that later. I'm just gonna slap it all on some black foam core board. Figured you'd be able to see through that pretty well. My hopes were pretty high with this so-called professional paint. I expected a much thicker, kind of more heavily pigmented paint. The cheap stuff, it's just like you put it down, you let it dry, and it's barely there. You can see right through it. I don't care what undercoating you do. At first glance, so far I've been pretty impressed, especially with this copper. I bought both sets of paints at Michael's Hobbies here in the United States. It's just a big hobby supply store, one of the big chains. I've used a couple of the other professional grade from Artist Loft, mainly the matte black and the white. They've been excellent. That's one of the reasons I got so excited to get these metallics. You can see here level three. They have a level two mid-grade. I haven't tried those yet. I haven't seen them in metallic. Level one academic. I'm seriously starting to think those are marketing ploys more than actual effort put into getting these paints good. I didn't really notice much of a difference in the thickness or viscosity of the two different kinds of paint. I suppose the professional grade was a little thicker, but I mean just a little. You can see as I'm slapping down the basic paint here how easily you can see through it. It's very disappointing when you're trying to get through a paint job that you don't really want to do. I mean all the fun's the building, not the painting, right? So here we are a week later, everything's fully dry. The side with the sticker is the level three. Looks very nice, the coverage is really good. But, you know, if you look at the basic here, not that different. I would just say the tone of the paint is nicer with the professional, it's just prettier. So yeah, professional, I guess it's worth it, but if I was paying full retail, I would not be happy for clearance. 25 bucks for these guys, not bad. So here's a couple models that I painted with the basics. You can see some of the metallic blue and the red here on this spider. And of course, the 15 coats of gold on the top of the world's largest lid bot. Man, that was a long paint job. Look how pretty that is. Took me three hours of painting and blow drying. If you'd like to see any of this stuff, both of these are videos that I've posted on my channel. Please check them out. Links are in the description. Look at that metallic green. So pretty. Lots of coats.